my name is Jay. I uh, work for M17 Project, and it is an open source digital voice protocol. So what we have here uh, that we're displaying is uh, some radios that are available relatively cheaply that can be customized with the open RTX firmware. And by installing the firmware on this radio, it then becomes M17. So it will do FM and M17. M17, you can think of it as an open source alternative to getting other protocols like DMR. Um, the other uh, radio, the, the other board we created was this uh, module 17 board. It is a modem that can be used to uh, plug into your mobile radio and convert your standard mobile radio into an M17 radio as well. The, the project that we're most excited about is the OpenHT. It is a software-defined uh, transceiver that can do any modes that we support. Right now, we're still working through. It's relatively new. It's only been a proof of concept for a few months, but eventually this will be available to use M17, sync, uh, sideband, AM, FM, uh, and the frequencies we're supporting now are UHF and in the gigahertz. One of the main advantages of M17 is that it is open source, so you don't have to have licensing fees. Um, the, the drawback on many of the digital modes right now is there are proprietary components that you can't replicate without licensing, um, dealing with patents. So this project is there to push the digital into the realm that you have been with FM. You don't have to buy a specific FM transceiver to be able to communicate uh, over the air. But with digital modes right now, you have to have specific hardware that you communicate with other uh, amateur radio operators. So with M17, the goal is to provide a specification as well as some hardware choices so that you don't have to be confined to a proprietary uh, protocol in order to do the transmission.